Thesaurus. That's e la fro -saurus. It means nimble or lightweight lizard. Watch me. Hey, come over here. Over here. Yeah, this way. I'm gonna race with that Brachiosaurus back there. Not that it's much of a contest. I'm one of the fastest dinosaurs around. Ooh, what a nice rock. I'm so fast I can even take time out and sun myself. I can tan faster than he can run. I have no worries. Ah, that's alive. Oh, yes. I'm super fast, and that's got a lot to do with the way I'm built. You see, I'm a carnivore, so I eat meat. I'm perfectly built for chasing smaller animals out here in the plain. And how am I built, you ask? See, I'm long and lean. And these long legs may be perfect for running. And my tail helps me stay balanced when I turn. And I'm light. I weigh about 210 kilograms, which is why I don't have to worry about... Hey, where did he go? I don't believe this. Brachiosaurus won. How could this be? I'm way faster than Brachiosaurus. Fine. I suppose if I had done less talking and more running, I would have won the race. Okay, you, get up. I challenge you to another race. Oh yeah, welcome to the late Cretaceous period 70 million years ago. I'm a Gorgosaurus. That's Gorgosaurus. Mom? Now? They're gonna think I'm just a kid. I can't wait till I get big. I'm going to be even scarier than my mom over there. Rawr! Cause that's what my name means, Fearsome Lizard. I'm not as tall as she is yet, but one day I'll be nine meters long. I'll be as long as a house. Gorgosaurus like me, Tyrannosaurus? Phew, that's a big word. But it has to be big, just like us. Imagine, we're in the same dino family with T-Rex. See all the sharp teeth? We're meat eaters, and our teeth help us chew even the toughest meat. I'm from what is now known as Alberta, Canada. So when I get fully grown, watch out. If you want to get big, you have to eat a good meal. And I've already called you for lunch four times. Yes, Mom. Gotta go eat. See you later. Ah, beautiful view, isn't it? Hi, I'm Pteranodon. You say it. Pteranodon, and it means winged and toothless. That's right. In my beak, I have no teeth. Do you want to know a secret? Hey, Pteranodon, I'm going to the picnic now. Oh, the dino picnic. Really? Do you think I can come? Yeah, sure. Every dino can. Remember that secret I want to tell you? Well, the secret is that I'm not a... So okay. Let's go. I'm from what is now Kansas, in the USA. But that's not the secret. Secret? I love secrets. I have hollow bones to make me light, and I have a huge wingspan, about 10 meters wide. That's as wide as a hand glider. That's not a secret, Pteranodon. Okay, fine. Do you want to know my secret? Well, here it is. I'm not a dinosaur. <coughs> That's right. I'm not a dino at all. I'm a flying reptile. I'm related to the dinosaurs, but not actually one myself. I guess I can't come to the dinosaur picnic now. By the way, dinosaur means great lizard. As far as I'm concerned, 
It also means friend. Yippee! <laughs> Thanks, T-Rex. You're the best. My best friend and I are going on a picnic. See you later. Have no fear, have no fear. The king of the dinosaurs is here. That would be me. Tyrannosaurus Rex, which actually means Tyrant Lizard King. And, well, that's me. <laughs> and did you know that a full-grown T-Rex, like myself, ta-da, is more than 12 meters in length. That's longer than a school bus. And when I stand up to my full height, I'm taller than a double-decker bus. The Tyrannosaurus Rexes weigh more than seven tons, you know. And I have the most beautiful teeth. Would you like to see them? Most vegetable-eating dinosaurs have small, bumpy teeth for chewing and grinding leaves and plants. But, well, you see, I am a carnivore. Uh, that means meat eater, uh, yum, 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 yum. And my teeth are perfect for, well, there's simply no other way to put this, for eating other dinosaurs. And the best part is once my teeth get a little worn down, they're automatically replaced. It really is a tremendous honor being king of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, we T-Rexes ruled the world, especially these parts of North America. Here. Well, I'd simply love to stay and chat with you all some more, but you see, my subjects need me, and I need them, because it's lunchtime! Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, hi! Uh, oh! Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, uh, about 140 million years ago. Ah! I live in the land that is now known as Argentina! Uh -huh. <laughs> Yuck! That stuff tastes like, well, Grass. Okay, as you may have guessed, I'm not a herbivore. A plant eater, like those Trubaria. I, I'm Gigantosaurus, the longest meat-eating dino who ever lived. You say my name like this, Gig and O Saurus. It means giant southern lizard. <laughs> oh. Ah! Phew. I'm as big as a boat, and I'm just as heavy at eight metric tons. You're looking at the biggest head of any theropod that ever lived. But uh, I have the smallest brain. It's about the size of... of a banana. Ah! Hi! I found you! Ugh. The only thing that really terrifies us Gigantosaurus is little sisters. Okay, sis. Want to go hunting? Yes! Will you do the roar for me? Sure, sis. <laughs> eh, she likes it when I do that. Oh, hello, and welcome to the late Jurassic period. I'm Ultrasaurus. Ultra cool, ultra special, ultra big. It's easy to say my name, Ultrasaurus. Hey, Allosaurus. Should I have an audience? Ultrasaurus, he is the one. Ultrasaurus, that's me. When you think of the biggest dino ever, think of me. I'm so big. Hey, how big are you? I'm so big that when I sit around the pond, I really sit around the pond. <laughs> ha cha 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 cha. Ultrasaurus, he's the one. I'm a herbivore, so I eat lots and lots of plants. Lots. I have to to get this big. He's as big as a bus, folks. Actually, I'm bigger than a bus, Al. I'm as tall as a three-story building. Next floor, socks. But some people think I'm not an Ultrasaurus. 
They think I'm really just a huge Brachiosaurus, since we look alike. Uh, no, you're Altrasaurus. You're the one. I'm from what is now known as Colorado, USA. What's the weather like up there? So you want to have a look? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Going up. E. Oh. That's too bad. I, I was just about to show him where his house was. Oh, hello there. Welcome to my home in the Triassic period, 230 million years ago. What a perfect day, huh? It's always like this here. My name is Herrerasaurus. You say that Herrerasaurus. Did you know that I am one of the oldest dinosaurs? Look out! Here I come! Ah, now that's the life. We'll take that. Theropods. We're always playing games like this. I'm not a big theropod, about the size of an elephant, but my tail is very long. As far as dinos go, I'm one of the earliest ones known. We're in what is now called Argentina in South America. Dino ball! Ah, gotcha. <laughs> See you later. Oh, hi there. I'm an Abelothoroth, one of the most ferocious of all the dinosaurs. Ah, true! Excuse me. Anyway, I'm one of the fiercest of all the carnivores. That's a meat-eating dinosaur, even though you probably haven't heard of me. This is the late Cretaceous period, about 75 million years ago. By that point, a lot of dinosaurs had already established their reputations, like Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, Allosaurus, you know, the really famous guys. It's harder for me to get noticed, but that's not because I'm not ferocious. I have a pretty wicked roar. Want to hear it? <laughs> you have to pardon me. I've got a really, really bad cold. <laughs> One of the things that's unique about abelothoruses is that our heads are mostly empty. You see, our heads are really big with large holes all through it called fenestra, which is great for smelling things like <laughs> afternoon snacks. But it also means that my head is like one giant nasal cavity. And so when I get a cold, it's a whopper. We abelothoruses are found primarily in this part of what is now South America. I hate it when I get one of these colds because there's only one thing you can do. And that's take my mom's advice. Get some rest and drink plenty of fluids. I have to get well soon because I want the whole world to know about abelosaurus. Uh, uh, I'm okay. I'm Panoplosaurus. That's Panoplosaurus. I wonder if you can guess what my name means. Welcome to our game show. Guess the meaning of my name. Clue number one. I live here in the late Cretaceous period, 74 million years ago. No guesses? Okay. I'm from the family of dinos called Ankylosauria. That means I have body armor. I have a stiff, clubless tail. And look at all my spikes. I'm built like an armored truck. Any ideas? Uh, square root of four. Uh, by eight. Mm, pie. This is an easy clue. I'm the same size as a dump truck. 
and I weigh three and a half metric tons, the same as an elephant. Of course, all of this armor is to protect me from meat eaters like these two T-Rexes. Okay, this is the last clue, and then you'll have to answer. I live in what is now Alberta, Canada, so can you guess what my name means? Does it mean delicious? No, Panoplosaurus means totally armored lizard. Look at all the armor on me! Sheesh! Do I win something? No. Hey, play nice. I gave you easy clues. Oh well, see you next time. Oh yeah, so good. Love it. You should taste these plants and grass. It's so good. Oh, excuse my manners. My name is... So hungry. Oh yeah, my name is Brachiosaurus. Wow, I'm hungry. Yes, I know I don't look a kilogram over 60 tons, but I'm still growing. I'll get to be about 16 meters tall. Anyway, I think there's a forest over there I can eat. After all, I'd eat my 200 kilograms of food a day. Aren't you scared of me? All dinosaurs are scared of the Allosaurus. No, no, I'm a Brachiosaurus, a plant-eating dinosaur. I'm a herbivore. Bye. Hmm, all this talk of food is making me really hungry. The herd! Yay! I thought I lost you guys. Excuse me while I join my herd. Oh, I'm lost again. Hey, look, a delicious forest. All right, team. Here we are in the late Jurassic period, 150 million years ago. You know me, I'm Coach Stegosaurus. You can say my name. Stegosaurus! 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 That's the herbivore spirit? Okay, let's go over our equipment. Get in line. Great, let's see those plates. Now that's not really enough armor, but they do make the carnivorous dinosaurs think twice about taking a bite out of us. These plates actually let us be warmer or colder, depending on how much we point them at the sun. Hey, an Allosaurus. Let's see those stagomizers. Yes, those stagomizers at the end of our tails are the real deal. Those spikes are up to 1.2 meters long. And we need them where we're from, what is now known as the Midwestern United States. In fact, we're Colorado State Fossil. All right, team. No one's going to mess with us, right? Stegosaurus! 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 Rah, rah, rah! We're pretty big, the size of a bus. Are you ready, Stegosaurus? That's great, team. Stegosaurus! Stegosaurus! Oh, where'd it go? Aha, found it! How's it going, eh? And welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 70 million years ago. I'm Edmontosaurus. That's Edmontosaurus, eh? I just found the puck so I can keep playing dino hockey with my pal, Eddie. Do you know where I got my name from? It's pretty cool. I was named after the city Edmonton, which is in what's now Alberta in Canada, where I'm from. Check it out, eh? My hands are made for pitching and catching. 
Eddie and I are practicing before the big game with the rest of our herd. Eh? Oh, yeah. I'm the kind of dinosaur that can walk on two legs to get those really hard to reach leaves on trees. And four legs when I'm chasing Eddie. Do you see how long we are? As long as a sailboat. But we're pretty heavy, almost four tons. You're probably wondering how I could eat with a duck bill, eh? Well, I have up to 60 rows of teeth in my cheeks, eh? Our teeth allow us to eat the hardest seeds and conifer needles with no trouble at all. Ugh, I don't eat meat. Only plants go in this mouth. I'd better get back to practicing. Eugesaurus. Have a good one, eh? And stay out! Ah, you have come to the late Jurassic period in search of the great and powerful Compsonathus. That's Compsonathus. It's very easy if you practice. Ow! Hey, Bavariosaurus! Did you hear what they're saying about me? I am the number one land predator in these islands in the depth of sea. It's true! No dinosaur gets past me. Why, well, see these legs? They're long and slender, which helps me to run very, very fast. You are so full of hot air. I'm surprised you don't float away. Do you dare insult me, the mighty Gomsonathus? I can eat any lizard, dinosaur, or fish I want. Any one. I was the first complete dinosaur fossil that scientists could study. You, you see? see? Again, Again, I was I first. Was first. Num -num Number one. one. Bring in the size chart. Okay, so I'm on the small side. So what? I'm still number one. Excuse me while I go and show our friend why I'm number one. Oh, you think I cannot climb? Well, you are wrong. My bones, they're hollow like a bird's, which means I'm light. And, oh yeah, see this tail? It'll help me stay balanced. You can run, but you can't hide because I am the magnificent Compsonathus! Hi, I'm Velociraptor. Yes, the famous Velociraptor. The Velociraptor. It means speedy thief. See my long tail? It lets me run really fast. <sighs> but not for too long. Didn't know I had feathers, huh? I need them to keep me warm. Because, well, 85 million years ago, it sometimes got pretty cold around here. And where is here? It's what is now known as Northern China. I'm not very big either. If you compare me to my cousins like the T-Rex. But like them, I'm a meat eater and I walk on two legs. But I'm just about the size of a big turkey. <laughs> hunt in a pack. In fact, this whole time my pack has been watching us. Shh. <laughs> uh, nothing like spending a day playing with your friends. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Bye. <laughs> Hi, hi. I'm Zuni Ceratops. You say it Zuni Ceratops. My name means Zuni Horned Head. And my eyebrow horns come in handy 
Especially since I have an itch in the middle of my back where I just can't reach. Ah! Ah! And this is my home here in the Middle Cretaceous period, 90 million years ago. See? My fossils were found in what's now known as New Mexico. A tribe of Native Americans lived here called the Zuni. Zuni, Zuni Ceratops. I'm the first Ceratopsian. That means dinosaur who likes to eat plants that has eyebrow horns. And I have another horn. See, at the tip of my nose. I'm not very big. Just about the size of a cow. So itchy! Wait, I know. Could you please scratch my back? A little to the left. Lower. Yes. That's the best thing about being in a herd. You always get a helping head. Bye for now. Welcome to the early Jurassic period. You haven't seen three of my herd around here, have you? My name is Scootalosaurus. That's Scootalosaurus, but you can call me Scoots. My friends and I like to hide from each other. My name means little shield lizard. My shield is made up of all these little armor plates. They help to defend me and hide me. I'm a bipedal herbivore, which means I eat plants and walk around on my two back legs, but I am top heavy. Now, where did those guys go? I'm from what is now Arizona in the United States of America. I have a beak and special teeth, which allows me to eat all these tasty plants. Oh no, not the Dilophosaurus again. Come here, you little morsel. Jump in my mouth. What? Where'd he go? Ah, that's better. I'm safer here with you, right? See, I'm just a little guy. I'm about the same size as you. Now, if I was my herd, where would I hide? Hmm? Hmm? Oh well, maybe if you come back later, you'll see them. But you'll have to look closely. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Well, hello there. I'm Sinosopterex. That's Sinosopterex. It means Chinese lizard wing. On account of the fact that I'm from China. And I am one of the first bird like dinosaurs from 130 million years ago. My arms. Covered with the neat little feathers. Whoa! Oh, but I can't fly. The feathers are just there to keep me warm. However, I can run really, really fast with my powerful legs. Hey, what are you doing? It's super cool. All you have to do is tuck and you slide all the way down. Eh, it's awfully far down. And though I may not be very big, I'm all carnivore. Mmm, meat. Come on, let's go. Uh, uh, don't, don't rush me. Oops. <laughs> oh well, I have the longest tail of any theropod dino. Sometimes it gets in the way. Cool! Yeah, well, it's my turn now. See you later. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Cetiosaurus here. 
Let me say it slowly for you. Set Yosaurus. Ah. Setiosaurus means whale lizard. And I am pretty big, aren't I? <laughs> I'm a herbivore, like other sauropods, such as Apotosaurus and Diplodocus. Sometimes being heavy has its advantages. But, unlike other dinos, I'm really heavy. It's because my bones are solid. And not hollow. I lived along what is now known as Europe. Did you hear that? Hardly any other dinos can eat me, but you don't want to meet the ones who can. Well, gotta go find my herd. Safety in numbers, you know. Goodbye! <laughs>